how are you going it's so lovely to be here today happy monday okay so in august we are looking at some extra things that you can do sort of behind the scenes so that you can call in more referrals bookings and appointments to your private practice so this is so 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 much fun and uh, if you've been following me for a little while now you'll know in this group here i'm all about mainstream and strategies and things like that because i know that's what you want but i'm all about integrating soul and spirituality uh in terms of how we use those things to inform the way that we show up in our practice how we design our private practice and how we get our private practice attracting the types of people that we want to be collaborating with sort of business to business but also the types of clients that we want to be working with um, in the direct client work in those face-to-face -face sessions but what I want to share with you today is uh, a quick tip that can absolutely help you get results faster than if you don't use it and we know this because there have been lots of uh, clinical trials done on this idea of intention setting and if you don't know what intention setting is don't panic it's not too woo woo I promise setting an intention simply invites um, you to be able to receive in your private practice through the act of planning and staying on track so if you're somebody who has been working in his or her practice and you're not yet getting the results that you want it can be because of the intention isn't very clear so what we want to do is set an intention you can do that for the week or you can do it day to day um, and so one of the things I do is I um, have a little template which I will share with you if you'd like to see it but I have a template that I use in the mornings before I start work before I even turn on the computer and what it does is it asks me to set my intention for the day and I can do this for all sorts of things if the practice for example might be running low on cash flow or something like that I can set an intention to attract five new referrals to the practice that week if I um, want to be more visible because I really want people to understand a message or I have something very, very important and helpful to share, then I'll set an intention of, you know, being able to share that message in a way that really resonates and lands for people. Once you've got that intention, the way that it works is neurologically, your mind already starts putting it into action. And the reason for that is because your subconscious mind can't distinguish between what's fact and what's fiction it's why sometimes when you're so engrossed in a film um like jaws or something like that you get that reaction it's because your subconscious mind learns things through stories through pictures through music through song all of that sort of stuff and can't distinguish the difference so by setting an intention and really allowing yourself to think for a moment about why you want to achieve that and what it's going to look like you start to create a little bit of a story in your mind and then that goes to your subconscious and of course um, your subconscious mind has a little part to it called the RAS or the reticular activating system that is like a puppy that really really wants to please you it's going to go out into the world and bring you back information that supports you setting that intention so it's very 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 powerful um, something else that you can do apart from setting your intention before you start the day or before you start the week is you can just jump into Canva if you like and just type up your intention and stick it near the computer um, so that way you can always refer to it. The other thing that I do that helps me focus and stop procrastinating and stay on track for the practice is after I've set my intention I write out a list of all of the things that I need to do that day or all of the things I want to do you know it's like you start writing that list and then you've got pages of lists <laughs> so I'll do that and then what I'll do is I'll go back and prioritize in terms of um, how likely is this task going to be to shift me to reach that intention so for example if I had 20 things on my list this morning I might think doing my emails is the top priority and then doing my blog is the second priority but in terms of my intention of calling in new clients to the practice they're probably not the things that are going to help new clients find me straight away um, there might be other things that I can do like 
reach out to past clients and check in on them now that we're in number six lockdown in Melbourne, um, check in on them and see how they are and see if they need in a booster session or a maintenance session or, or something like that. Often going back to past clients can be a great way to support them, but it can also mean that you get those extra four or five appointments in your diary. So it works from a business perspective as well as a support perspective. Um, so that might be my number one. So do you see how you prioritize in accordance with your intention? And this is the thing that other private practice coaches don't tell you. It's not about having a big long list and ticking everything off. And it's not about prioritizing in terms of what you think is the most important thing. It's making sure that you're prioritizing in terms of how likely is this task to help me reach this intention. And if it's highly likely, that's your first priority. And that way, if you only get through three or four things, you know that you've shifted the needle that day towards helping that intention. Um, I want to say manifest, but helping that intention come to fruition, seeing those extra bookings, seeing those extra appointments. And I know that this works as well because I have another group, the Private Practice with Soul group. It's a women's circle. And um, a couple of months ago in there, we had an alignment challenge where I shared my template with them and they stayed on track and they did that for the week. Some of them um, managed to call in extra money, extra clients, extra referrals, extra collaborations, all just by setting that intention and then taking the action that was most aligned with helping that intention come true. So that's my tip. Um, if you're if things are going slowly in the practice and you'd like to see things happen more quickly, start by setting an intention and then write out a list of things that you need to do. Prioritize those in terms of what's most likely to help that intention come true and you will start to see progress quickly. Hand on heart, you will start to see progress quickly. If this is something that you'd like to try this week and, you know, check in for some accountability if you like during the week. I would love to support you with that because I want this group to be one where you do get results, where it is free help, where you're getting valuable, useful information and content to support you on your journey. That's my intention. <laughs> so I hope that this makes sense. If you have any questions, of course, just drop them in the comments. I'm always here to support you. Have a beautiful Monday and I look forward to seeing you in the group. Thanks for watching.